films of the year. For me, that means films I've seen this year. Not necessarily those that have been released this year. Though, based on the list maybe, Empire of Light. Really, really refreshing film. About filmmaking and film watching. Enjoyed that as much as I enjoyed living. Another really, really tough film, a human film. And I'm of a conscience who actually did something about it. Speaking of consciences, where the crow dad sing? And it's more revenge than conscience, I suppose. The book I read after I'd seen the film. Brilliant book. Brilliant film. See it, then read it. An old flame, the naked spare, a western. James Stewart. Latest version. Really enjoyed it. Took a chance, really enjoyed it. The Naked Spare. On projection, Cleopatra works, still works really well. Perfect film, really top. A film for movie acting, an actress and an actor, Richard Burton. Elizabeth Taylor, names to resonate through the ages, brilliant. On a different note, Cool Hemluch, latest restoration, because something, sometimes, nothing can be a real cool hand. Which takes us to our man in Havana. Latest Restoration, really enjoyed this, fabulous film. What can you say it's about? Nuclear weapons? Or nuclear stupidity? You know where I'm going next, don't you? Indiana Jones. Ha! I'm not the one that you're thinking of, the latest one. Crystal School, I've seen it loads of times. Because it plays very well for many, many views. It's connected with the latest archaeology that also helps. The Crystal School. School shaped. The school shaped? the elongated skulls of life that may or may not have been before. The pyramids of Egypt, for me. Next on this pile, obviously Oppenheimer. Top draw, top draw, really enjoyed. The only thing you don't see it's the inside of an atom bomb. I would love to have seen the inside. We saw the pieces, pieces interlocking. But, but was there a gyroscope inside, you know, to keep it all, the plutonium or the uranium stable? I would have liked to have seen that. There's probably a Haynes' manual for it somewhere. Took a chance with this one, Westworld. Really, really, really played well. It's a series. Season one. Don't go anywhere near there, any of the others, because season one got a beginning, middle, and end. It explains everything. There's not more to explain after this. Really, really top. I 
And last on my pile, not necessarily best, that's to come after this one, but for a restoration, pull fiction, absolutely perfect picture quality. And to my astonishment, I still enjoy watching it. Still watching it. It's a bit, it can be a bit scenic. Scenic, is that a word? Um, big scenes. But it works. It still works. Pulp fiction. For my film of the year, is an old one. Which I enjoy watching over and over. Humphrey Bogart, Mary Astor, The Maltese Falcon, Steelbook, latest, probably the best, well, it is the best version out there. What a film. All about lies, deceit. Kidding yourself, money of course, greed, pretensions, bogey and his pretensions, fabulous film, but especially if you want to go to pictures in your own home.